In this section, we are going to see some possible corridor warnings and errors that will be coming when you are designing corridors. So if you have some error, something, if something need to be updated in a corridor, it will show you in the prospector. If you expand this corridor, you will see there's a kind of a warning sign you, your corridor is out, outdated. You need to uh, rebuild the corridor. So. <coughs> to rebuild the corridor you have to right click and rebuild the corridor so i'll rebuild in this case so what happens here is it shows me two warnings from 0 to 1465 target object not found target dtm offset elevation so like that it gives me a warning so this type of warning is related to your surface target is not set your surface target is not set so i'll close this one so if you want to remove these clear these uh, warnings you can click action and clear all events so when i close this one now i am going to see my targets whether it is set correctly so i go to here and go to corridor so i am using the 2024 version so <laughs> Here I am going to the targets from here. So if you are using the 2020 20 version or 23 or uh, 22 version, like so, your tar surface target may not be like this, but you have you can. I hope you can find it. So your surface tar target now you it is not set. You can see here it is not set. It is set to none. That is why it is giving a uh, warning label and. Uh, the corridor is outdated because of that one so i'll set this one eg now it is set at both cases so these two sides is for left and right you can see here left and right so i click ok and click ok to rebuild my corridor now when we re rebuilding the corridor no error will happen that means our corridor is uh, modeled correctly now here again I am going to see show you another error we are encounter with. So in this time I set my targets in my corridor using offset alignments on the left side. But for the offset alignment, we, have, you know, we don't have any offset alignment on the right side. Instead we have polylines on the right side to uh, set our corridor, uh, actually set our layout. So we'll see what kind of error we get at this moment so i'll right click go to proto properties and i will set my corridor and you can see in the width target section now my right width target is set to a polyline on this side and right shoulder target also set to a polyline so i'll click ok and click ok here again to rebuild the corridor you will see an error pop-ups here a per error pop-ups target object not found with with object is not found i'll double click here it will show me some error so this event happening in two locations the, these two locations at the end actually this is at the end and the sub assembly is right and the sub assembly group is lane r so in a lane r at this station there's a error happens so i close this one and i'll clear the events for the moment now i am moving on to the right side so this is where my corridor is so what i'm going to do now is i'll click this one and turn off for the moment to check what happens at the layout so you can see in this location this layout alignments ends here but the right lane layout ends shorter than that that is why it is giving an error in this area the target cannot be found because this line is not here because civil 3d finds this target perpendicular to the alignments so somewhere here you don't any really find any target so that gives you an error so you have to extend this line up to this end so that uh, it gives correct with target so i am going to extend this using the extend commands now I am extended it. I don't know want this one actually. And I will rebuild the corridor now. 
and you won't see errors now right you won't see errors now because now it is correctly modeled so in we will see another uh, error in the next part so now there is a, another rebuild required for the corridor so i'm going to rebuild the corridor from here because the corridor is already created and is shown in the drawing so i'll rebuild this so you have two warnings at zero you don't have intersection target could not be found so this is one at zero intersection target could not be found and it shows you some error so we'll see what is the error here so it is a kind of a elevation error elevation error here so basically this type of uh, error relates to elevation error so the easiest way to find this is the error is at zero so easiest way is to select this corridor and if it is elevation type error it is better to easier to find it through the object viewer so if you go to object viewer you will see now your corridor is looking like at this like this at the start we call it corridor waterfall right it is suddenly going down so that is because your profile is not connecting to the zero point of the alignment so i'll press k so if i go to the profile you can see my profile starts not at zero but somewhere some point else right it's one meter away from the zero right so you need to make this to the zero point using the object snaps right then the error would be gone this can happen at the other end also and that means this corner also so you have to make sure that this is connected to the edge as well so if i rebuild the corridor now you won't see any errors now right so this is these are some of the errors you will encounter when corridor modeling so if these uh, errors encountered if you found this type of errors uh, you can uh, rectify them to get a more accurate corridor